Hello Bio 107 students. This is Professor Frenetovich and today I want to show you how to graph our data using chartgo.com. Chartgo. Um, and this is for lab one where we are looking at heights and foot lengths. And these are both in centimeters. This is the data table um, that I created. You'll have a similar one in your Google Drive for the class data. But to demonstrate this, I have created hypothetical student A, B, and C. Okay, and so as students enter their data into this spreadsheet, um, it's going to be um, lots of different numbers here. Height should all be around these numbers. I am about five foot four inches um, in height, and I converted that to centimeters here. And this is my foot length. And we have some variation, which is great. Uh, first thing we want to do, though, is to organize this data. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm left clicking on this column of height. I want to sort this data for height. Now, usually the top of Excel looks like this. It shows a home screen, and we want to go to the data tab and sort our data. I'll sort it from smallest to lar largest, and that's what you should do as well. If this hasn't already been done in the class data set, you will need to do this to get your graph to look properly. So we sort our heights, smallest to lar largest. It says expand selection, we do sort. And so it's shuffled it a little bit. Student C has the smallest height and it goes to the largest height. And then the foot lengths correspond. So you don't have to do it twice. You don't do it for foot length as well. You just do it for height. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight this. I just left clicked and dragged down. Don't right click and drag down. Left click. And then I right click to copy. Don't cut. Be sure to copy. So I'm copying this so I can enter it into ChartGo to make a graph. Down here, I go over to chart go, and I am creating a chart. So you'll see at the top, create chart. From the chart type, I've selected the line graph. It defaults at bar graph, so you wanna make sure it's line. You can leave height and width the same. I like white background color, so I chose that. I typed in a title. You'll have to type in your own title and you can make it the same as mine or a little bit different. Title should be descriptive of the graph that you're making. So I just put Bio 107 length graph. Um, and then I typed in an X title for height. So the heights will go on the X axis. And that is why I sorted by height so that we can have a continuous um, height there. And then y-axis title, the y title is foot length, so that will be on our y-axis. It defaults to title font bold, label font normal, and here I typed in the max y. Now, this is not the maximum number in our data, but it is a little bit higher than the maximum number. So I wanted to just give a little bit of room at the top of the graph and I typed in the minimum Y. You'll have to do this as well for both of these to be a little bit smaller than our lowest Y data set, data value. And that'll give us a little bit of space at the bottom of our graph. If you don't do this, your graph will start with a Y axis at zero and go up to the highest number in your Y value, um, which is okay, but for a nice looking graph, um, you want to, Maximize your data spread um, to show the correlation, at least for this um, graph and for this lab. We want to see how these relate to each other, the heights and the foot lengths. So I have some data here. I'm going to click it in. That's our X data from our Excel. Now I'm going to highlight the right foot length data. So I just toggled back over to the data table, right click, copy that data. Okay, so now that's all highlighted. 
And I go back over to charcoal and I paste it in. I'm scrolling down to create chart. And here it pops up with a beautiful chart of our data. And we have 161.5 as our lowest value for height um, up to 170, our highest value. And you can see our y-axis goes from 20 to 35, giving us this nice line going up into the right. Now, as you look forward in this lab, you will see that that indicates a positive correlation, that as the height increases, foot length also increases. Now, be, take in mind or keep in mind that this is for the hypothetical students that I created, um, and I did that intentionally. Our own class data might look a little bit different um, if we have different data points and different values. So that's another thing to um, consider when studying biology, that data will change. If we took a big sample, um, we would see a certain correlation. When we have a smaller sample, we might see um, a different type of correlation. But that is how you do a graph in Charco. It's fairly straightforward. And please email me if you have any difficulty.